Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 16th episode of my RPG Maker VS AIDS video tutorials. In this episode, I'll be basically going over what common events are and what they do and what they're for. And common events are actually very common in RPG Maker VS and VS Ace. That's why they're named common events, because they're common. Um, make sure to hit that subscribe button to be updated every time I release a new video. Hit also, hit the like button and, uh, and comment if you enjoyed this series so far and let's start this so basically common events what are they and why do i need them that's the two questions you should be asking yourself well common events are basically regular events the only big difference between them is that's no way your player can access them during the game that means they can't walk up to them and like activate it like they can with npcs they can't walk by it and get transferred like they would with um transfer um events so basically the run in the background controlling your world and keeping track of stuff and that's first you name it let me name it this ce for common event let's actually make that capital this common event all right so when you the trigger you get two options auto run meaning it, it runs as soon as the as soon as you enter the map or enter the game whatever um and um parallel process meaning it runs as soon as you enter the map but only it runs in the background instead of running instead of being <sighs> i don't know how to explain this to you so auto run basically just like you have to deal with it but parallel, parallel process meaning like it runs in the background and it doesn't stop the game from moving on unless you have like a text or something coming up so basically what i usually do is do parallel process when i'm doing my auto event i mean my common events and auto run for those things you want to be run only once and parallel process for stuff that keep track of stuff that's what i usually do personally so let's explain this more so common events there's many ways to put them in your game and the two most common ways actually i don't know if they're most common but the two most common ways is to put them in your items and your skills meaning okay this skill let's use this skill for an example if i want i can go to effects go to other and then use make it call up the common event that means every time i use this item it's gonna call up this common event and another way can you also do it with weapons i don't know i don't remember because i usually don't okay no you can't i with skills all right and then and it's basically the same thing with skills and they go to other and common event that means every time you use that every time you use this skill it's always gonna call up this common event and i'm saying this skill because this skill is named this skill and this common event is named this common event just to keep everything simple so in the last way you could call it up which is also um simple is basically go you to go to your event and then i actually forgot what page, page it was on call common event Oh, here it is, page one. So you basically just pick the number of the one you want, and you pick one, they call it, and then this is actually a way to make common events um physical in your world. That means you can make a common event of an NPC, then make an event of an NPC that calls a common event, which is actually kind of a waste of time. You might, if you're doing that, you might as well just make the NPC in that event. That's no reason why you should be doing that. So back to common events. So common events, they're one hundred percent like regular events. They have all the options. Everything is the same. Only they run in the background. What, like I've said before, what I usually do with them is use them to keep track of stats and conditions. That means I keep track of how many experience my character has, how many gold my character has, how many strength my character has, stuff like that, and then use them to condition off. And if you would like to have an, uh, if you want to see an example of how I use this, you could go ahead and look up my Let's Make an Open World RPG. I use common events a lot because they are really, really helpful and common. So that's basically it for common events. 
you could call them up three ways or you could have them always running and always um yeah so when you pick parallel process or auto run then you have you need to give a condition switch that means that when the switch is on it could run auto run or it could run parallel parallel process so yeah that means if switch one is on is the um the it's gonna run the coming event and if it's off the coming event will start running and if you if you keep it at none that means you have to call it and when i say call it i mean you could either use items or skills or you could call them from events and that's basically how you use common events i'm not going to create an event because that's a lot to do i'm not going to be making event tutorials separately because i'm not just going to go through all the options okay well that's it for this episode and i will see you guys on the next episode where i tell you guys what system and terms are and